the Aito Kalacho. By your sweet princess Zilka. Yes, how can she be so calm? I am sweet, kind, calm. Princess Zilka, yes, I learned my peace. But that was not learning my peace. That was just who I am. I am generous and kind and intelligent. And here I am sharing. You just heard it in the previous video. Stress happens. Yeah, the earth breaks down and I am calm. Yet I am kind of not. I kind of deposit my, my stress somewhere else. Because after that earthquake in the hotel, and the scare and the fright and the wall breaking down and everything was in dust. Yeah, that little particular place. But at the time, you know, when earthquake happens and everything falls in dust, you don't know what everything is. It seems like everything because it's next to you. But it wasn't, it was just a parking lot. How can she be so calm? Well, three days later, I broke out in tears. Stress release happened three days later. I noticed I can keep my peace and my cool in absolute demeaning stressful situations, yet it doesn't mean that I am not affected by it. So I call that, that the release comes a little later, three days later, I call that the earthquake effect. Princess Zuka and the earthquake effect. Oh, there was another story, now that I remember, in the hotel century. Holiday on ice is some weird spectacle, like Disneyland on ice. Some Disney spectacle, and they travel around the world. And those came, and I think those were actually um, Slavic people. I don't know, Polish, Czech, don't think Russian. They're young, of course, because they have to perform on ice. And they had been there before, I heard. So the large group came to the hotel. No, I want to see the show because they gave us tickets. Why not? Oh, I loathe that I can't handle. But I, I had to go to see it to tell you that I don't like it. Yeah, and the people are vulgar and it's outrageous. So those came to cheat and steal and lie, even more so than Mexicans. Absolutely, in that nice five-star hotel where I worked where I was public relation manager, they came to steal, as they claimed that the personnel, the maids, had stolen jewelry from them and made a bit of big fuss. Now, we know that they claimed because there is no personnel who can enter the hotel or let's say an exit without passing through l luggage control. Yeah, the maids, they all have to go through the entrance where the workers enter, enter and exit. In their bags, they're always checked. There's no maid stealing anything from that hotel. It's not about trusting the maids, it's about it's a five-star hotel, it's the policy. You cannot whisk. Absolutely not. All right, here's a notion. Do you see how I am special? The, the manager hired me as a manager. The general manager hired me as a manager, as I sat in front of him at his desk with my curriculum vitae, after talking with him a few minutes. And the mates and the personnel, the cleaning personnel, yeah, men and women, they had to go through whatever entrance and have back check. I mean, just put things into the perspective, as I often walk on the street, and those mates, small and overeaten and vulgar men talk to me like I'm some kind of shit. Are they gone now? Daring the Mexicans to address me in respectful, irresponsible manners, like igualados, like the two por two, like we are the same. <laughs> There's a ghost that lives in my head Acts like a friend But feels like a stranger Runs his mouth when I try to sleep 
He's my enemy and my entertainer. Sorry if I wasn't listening. So many things I wish that I could say, but they just don't come out. And sorry if I'm such a fucking mess. Caught up in a cycle trying to get out, but I don't know how. I'm so tired of the distance from the things I say and the things I want. I'm so tired lately, I'm so tired. There's a ghost that lives.